Welcome back to Bake It Lore and More, where today's episode takes us on a juicy journey through history, humor, and the aisles of a grocery store. I'm your host, Steph, and we're peeling back the layers on why a pineapple, yes, a simple tropical fruit, has become a symbol of the swinging community in this short yet sweet tale. Let's set the scene with Alex and Jamie, our unsuspecting protagonists, embarking on what they thought was a routine shopping trip. As they meander through the grocery store, Alex, in a moment of whimsy, places a pineapple upside down in their cart. Unbeknownst to them, this act has just communicated a message far beyond their intention. But how did we get here? How did the pineapple transform from a sweet tropical delight to a symbol of the swinging community? It's a tale as intriguing as it is surprising. Originating from the lush fields of South America, the pineapple was first introduced to Europe in the 17th century. Due to its exotic nature and rarity, it became a symbol of wealth and hospitality, often displayed at lavish parties to impress guests. Fast forward to the modern era, where symbols and meanings evolve with society's ever-changing landscape. According to Cruz Mummy, what once signified luxury and welcome, now, when turned upside down, signals an openness to the swinger lifestyle, particularly in certain settings like cruises and suburban neighborhoods. Chef's resource delves deeper, highlighting the pineapple's journey from a rare delicacy to a coded message within the swinger community. This transformation underscores the fluidity of symbols and how cultural contexts can shift their meanings entirely. Shun Spirit adds another layer, exploring the pineapple's role in today's social fabric, where symbols serve as discreet nods to those within particular circles, allowing for privacy amidst openness. But our story doesn't end there. To truly understand the pineapple's place in the swinger community, we must look at how communication within subcultures adapts over time. Academic studies and social observations reveal that as society becomes more interconnected, yet simultaneously more privacy conscious, symbols like the pineapple serve as bridges between public acknowledgement and private identity. As Alex and Jamie continue their shopping, they remain blissfully unaware of the historical and cultural weight resting within their cart. But as we'll see, their journey through the grocery store is more than just a quest for dinner. It's a walk through history a tale of how a fruit became a beacon of communication in the modern world. As Alex and Jamie wander the aisles, their cart's upside-down pineapple begins to attract more than just casual glances. It's a modern echo of a centuries-old tradition of using symbols to communicate in plain sight. But when did the pineapple first begin to signify something more intimate? The story takes a twist in the late 20th century where social freedoms and the sexual revolution paved the way for more open expressions of lifestyle choices. According to a study published in the Journal of Modern Cultural Studies, The Pineapple, once a mere tropical fruit began to appear in swingers' ads in newspapers and later online forums as a discreet nod to those in the know. Adding to our narrative, The Evolution of Social Symbols by Dr. Helena Baxter a leading anthropologist, explains that as swinging communities sought ways to identify each other while maintaining privacy, the pineapple emerged as an ideal emblem. Its history of symbolizing hospitality made it a perfect fit for a community, emphasizing openness and welcome. Meanwhile, Subcultures and Sociology by Professor Mark Thompson provides insight into how subcultures use symbols like the pineapple to create bonds of identity and belonging reinforcing the idea that these symbols are not just playful tokens, but integral to the fabric of these communities. As our couple enjoys their grocery shopping, little do they know they're part of a long tradition of using everyday objects for extraordinary communication. Their innocent choice sparks curiosity, amusement, and even a sense of camaraderie among those around them, aware of the symbol's deeper meaning. The pineapple's journey from exotic fruit to swinger symbol is not just a quirky anecdote, but a reflection of how communities evolve and communicate. It underscores the human need for connection, identity, 
and the lengths we go to find like-minded individuals. As Alex and Jamie approach the checkout, they remain oblivious to the coded conversations swirling around them. But as they'll soon discover, their pineapple is more than just a snack. It's a passport to a hidden world. It's here in the mundane setting of a grocery store checkout line that the significance of the pineapple in their cart is finally revealed. A friendly cashier with a twinkle in her eye leans in and whispers, nice choice of fruit, hosting a special party? The question, innocuous on the surface, is loaded with implication. Confusion washes over their faces, prompting the cashier to explain the pineapple's role as a symbol within the swinging community. The revelation is met with a mix of embarrassment, surprise, and ultimately, laughter. Alex and Jamie had unwittingly signaled an open invitation they never intended to make. This moment of revelation is more than just a humorous mix-up. It's a reflection on the power of symbols in our society. The pineapple, with its spiky exterior and sweet interior, becomes a metaphor for the layers of meaning we assign to the simplest of objects, transforming them into beacons of identity and connection. Dr. Baxter's The Evolution of Social Symbols delves into this phenomenon, explaining how symbols like the pineapple navigate the complex dance between public perception and private intention. Meanwhile, Professor Thompson's Subcultures and Sociology emphasizes the role of such symbols in forging community ties and facilitating discrete communication among those wishing to identify themselves to each other without revealing their interests to the wider world. As our protagonists laugh off their accidental foray into the world of coded messages, they join a long lineage of individuals who find connection and community through shared symbols. Their experience underscores a universal truth. The search for belonging and understanding is as old as time, and sometimes it's the most unexpected symbols that bring us together. In a world where communication is increasingly digital and direct, the pineapple reminds us of the value of subtlety, discretion, and the human touch. It's a sweet reminder that despite our differences, we're all looking for ways to connect and find common ground, sometimes in the most surprising of places. If you enjoyed peeling back the layers of today's story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Steph, signing off from Baked Lore and More. Stay hungry for knowledge, my friends, and see you in the next episode.